Drip and micro-irrigation are advanced forms of irrigation that allow for precise applications of water to plants. These methods are used in agriculture and landscape irrigation. Micro-irrigation has flow rates of less than 30 gallons per hour per emitter. It also uses polyethylene components. Distribution uniformity, or DU, is a mathematical expression that quantifies the differences in the amount of water that plants receive throughout a field. A simple test can be conducted on a drip hose to evaluate DU. This evaluation measures both flow rate and pressure. To begin, connect the segment of drip hose that needs to be connected to a water supply. Next, turn on the water and allow the water to flow through the system. Wait until all air has exited the hose and the hose pressurizes. Now place 24 catch cans under the hose emitters near the middle and collect water for five minutes. The easiest way to ensure that each catch can is exposed to the emitter for the same amount of time is to start the stopwatch after the first can is placed, then place one can every 10 seconds following. When the five minutes is done, pull the first can that was placed and then pull the following cans after each 10-second interval. After carefully removing all the cans, use a graduated cylinder to accurately measure and record the volume of water collected in each can. The reading should be taken from the bottom of the meniscus in the graduated cylinder. This data is summarized by getting the average amount of water collected in all of the cylinders. The lowest quarter of the volumes is separated and then averaged. The DU is then calculated as the average of the low quarter average. A good value is above 0, 0.90 and a poor DU is under 0, 0.70. The second part of the evaluation is to measure the pressure throughout the hose. Pressure measurements should be taken from four evenly distributed points throughout the hose. Begin by using a punch and punching a hole into the hose. Next, carefully insert the pitot tube into the hole with the opening of the tube facing downstream. Once you've recorded the measured pressure reading, plug the opening using a goof plug and pliers. The evaluation should be repeated at half the pressure of the first test using a reading near the middle of the hose. During the experiment, you can check to see if there are any differences in pressure along the drip hose. Differences in pressure can occur when water flowing in a hose loses energy because of friction between the water and the hose's walls. Turbulence may also cause those differences. Because the evaluation is only testing a short length of the hose with a small flow rate, the pressure loss by friction is not measured by the pressure gauge. Plugged emitters can have an effect on the DU and should not be omitted from the final results. Any inconsistencies between emitters are very important factors for producing an accurate DU result. Using this quick test, one can determine if a drip hose is performing adequately or if it is time to replace certain lines. This test can also show the distribution uniformity of an area.